115 years ago, two friends, William and Arthur, came together to create Harley Davidson. We are going to show you a little bit of the history, culture, and most importantly, the bikes here at the Harley Davidson Museum. Behind us is the bike that started it all. Yep. Which is the, gorgeous. The oldest Harley Davidson in existence. Both Bill Harley and Arthur Davidson were really avid bicyclists, and Bill Harley actually worked for a, a bicycle company here in Milwaukee, and their first project was to, to build a motor to literally put in a bicycle. You can see how they, they kind of shaped the frame so that it would embrace the engine, and that kind of set the standard for what we still do now. Can I ride it out of here? <laughs> uh, well, first of all, You'd have to guess it up. <laughs> this is actually dated July 20th, 1901. This is original. So this is the original drawing from Bill Harley and for, where did you recover? for How a did bicycle. You recover this? The Harley family saved it. They had the foresight to save stuff from, from almost the very beginning. Over there is the book from 1907 when they incorporated. And they actually began a program of saving at least one bike new right off the line in 1915. Wow. And we do that to the present. When we were back there, you know, you look and this looks like a whole motorcycle. Right. And as you walk in. Wow, I didn't even notice that till now. That's amazing. See, it this works. completely taken apart. <laughs> so, you know, the idea here in this whole room is to give people, you know, a sense that the engine from the first bike we built today is the, you know, real heart of the motorcycle, both, you know, obviously from making it go, but from a design point of view, we always show that beautiful engine like it's a jewel in a setting. We want to give people a sense of, you know, how these things work and we make it interesting. By 1920, we were the largest motorcycle company in the world and sold over 28,000. In those early decades, there were, there were dozens, we think as many as 60 different American motorcycle companies. By the time we came out of the Depression, there were only two companies left. You know, the major turning point was World War II. Over the course of World War II, we made almost 90,000 military bikes. What kind of jobs in the military were Harleys actually assigned to? They were mostly, they called them dispatch riders. Okay. So they were taking messages from one place to another. Our story weaves in and out of the, the story of American history. This is the bike that this badass cyborg Arnold's, Yeah, Arnold <laughs> ride. The real Captain America in the comic book, he rides Yes. WLA. Right. The original didn't come with flamethrowers and yeah, exactly. stuff like rocket launchers. Like the Terminator, one thing that's great is it's kind of, you know, it's not just like a car. It's a character. So Jim, we've walked around. There's a lot of stuff in this museum. Yeah. When you think about motorcycling, it's not just the bike, it's the black leather jacket, and all the uniforms, and then all the, all the things that people do to add to their bikes. So we've got, you know, just an incredible array of things to help tell the story. What do you hope each person that sets foot through this door gets? If you come into this place and you're a Harley Davidson enthusiast, we're gonna stoke that passion further. If you got dragged along by somebody and you don't think you're gonna like it, you're gonna leave thinking, you know, that was actually interesting and I've never really thought much about motorcycling, but there's, that's an interesting subject. There's something for everyone here at the Harley-Davidson Museum, that's for sure. That's the goal.